of the summer season. We're going to be barbecuing, we're going to be outside, et cetera, et cetera. Let's not forget what the real importance of Memorial Day weekend is. But as the unofficial start of summer, we've already had several days that were 90 degrees or hotter here in Philadelphia. And every single state saw degrees of 90 degrees or hotter last summer. It's going to be a scorcher. So what do you do? Are you going to crank your household air conditioner, the most expensive appliance to run? Or are you going to do the opposite of what we talk about with zone heating in the winter and zone cool? This is a remarkable system. I want to introduce you to my buddy, Sean Pickford. Welcome back. Good to see you. This makes a difference because everybody's got a home where one room never gets cool enough because of the heat of the summer. Yours is funky. That's the middle of your house that heats up. <laughs> My daughter's room is in the center of the house upstairs, yeah. and it is 10 degrees warmer than the rest of the house. Cannot figure out why. Doesn't feel like the cooling's coming through the vent at all. It's like they forgot to disconnect or to connect the pipe. Okay. It's just bizarre. So we have one in her room so she can be comfortable. Instead of us cranking the thermostat where we're all in sweatsuits trying to sleep. And, and you're burning the money as you, as you right. go. This is commercial cool. We've got three different units for you. This is a big unit. It's 1,200 British thermal units, or BTUs. It's an air conditioner with a built-in timer, but it's also a dehumidifier, because right. uh, if you live down south, you know it's not, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. This will pull how much moisture out of the air in a 24-hour period? Well, you're talking over 10 and a half gallons of water in a 24-hour really period. And you don't touch anything. It basically, as it's working, it's pushing it out the hose here and pushing it back outside where it belongs. We've all seen, quote, window air conditioners. Right. Uh, they're, they're big, they're heavy, they're bulky. They're difficult to install. Uh, if you don't do them right, you've all seen the television commercials where the air conditioner hits <laughs> the roof of the car in the parking lot below. <laughs> yes, we have. This is a safer, easier, simpler way to go, and it truly becomes a portable 12,000 BTU system. All you need is a window that opens up or opens side to side. Right, that's it. If you have a window, so if it opens this way, you're good. If it opens this way, you're good. If you have a window that you crank open and it swings, then this is the right unit for you but anybody can install this. It's really easy. Yeah, this is your window kit here, so your window can be 26 and a half inches small. To 48 inches wide. All the way wide. up to 48 Ooh. inches wide, and as you said, Dan, you can be horizontal, right. or you can be vertical in that window in order to do it. Everything just snaps together. It's very simple, very easy. We even give you the foam that if you want to put that on either side so there's no gaps or anything like that, that's included with it. The hose is over five feet long. The, where you plug it in, you plug it into a standard household outlet. It's a three-prong plug. So the cord is no six feet long. No electrician. No. No. No special installation. Because wall air conditioners that you put into a window don't work off a regular plug so many times. Not so much. And yeah. they, and you lose your view. You can see you only have about four inches here. You can have the window where it's at. You can I still know, see. Damn. You can keep the screen in your window. You don't have to take that screen out the way it's designed. Okay. And you're talking about 12,000 BTUs. We're talking about a large room that we can cool here. How big? Well, up to 450 square feet. So That's big. 20 by 22 with an eight foot ceiling. That's your family room. It's not some small bedroom, but you know what? If you're buying it for the small bedroom, we can do that too because you can adjust the thermostat. This is also a dehumidifier, removing 83.69 pints of water from the air that's over 10 gallons of moisture in a 24-hour period. And it does it without creating a chamber you've got to empty, right? without buckets you have to drain. And by the way, this is real air conditioning. This is blowing some cold air. Yeah, and that's This is not just a fan. And I like this feature. Yeah. I can adjust the, the louvers you can, so I can control the flow of where it goes. You can adjust the louvers. You, you can you know, determine where you want to put it. You can have a timer come on. So if you want to, you can see the degrees here. We have it down to 62 degrees. You can high, you can set it from 62 to 88 degrees. Well, 88 may not sound cool, but my parents are older. It, yes. All right, 75, 78 degrees is cool to them. So especially you if you live, live out Phoenix, west. Phoenix, yes, yeah. you read my mind. Right. You read, if you live in Phoenix, so, and it's 104 degrees, <laughs> uh, that higher setting is really nice. The unit is beautifully done. Uh, this is a company called Commercial Cool. This is what they do. We've seen lots of brand names over the years. This unit really impressed me. You can use it as your air conditioner. 
You can use it as your dehumidifier or both, or you can use it as a fan yeah, if you all use by it, itself. If you use it as the fan, you don't have to have the window kit hooked up. You can just okay. have the unit like we have here. So all you would do is plug this in. That will help you circulate the air. Yesterday here, didn't need an air conditioner, but needed a fan to move some of the cool right. air. So you could do that. Now, again, Memorial Day weekend coming up this weekend. Unofficial start of summer. We're already late in our season. That black, we've got about 100 left, and there's no reorder. So I've got 100 of the black to make you happy, cool, and comfortable all through the summer. In the platinum, I've got a few more, but in the white, we're down to fewer than 100 of these. The whole unit does not weigh much. You just need a single outlet with three prongs and a window. And the installation takes for the first time, it takes about a half hour because you've got to read the instructions. But yeah, you read. And, it's and so simple. And you're going to screw the ends of the tube on here. You're right. going to screw the end on there. Just follow the instructions. What I like, there's pictures involved. I'm a yes. guy. I don't like to read. <laughs> I like to look at the pictures. Like the, like the cartoons, uh, yes. You, you know, and figure it out. But you can do this. Your window kits, you get, the again, your size. We didn't put the other sleeve in because this fit perfectly into the window. If you do have to cut this, all right. A hacksaw, easy, a simple. Hacksaw, you can cut it to customize it to your window. You can do that. So I've got a friend who has an air conditioned garage, and I thought that was the ultimate in luxury. I do that too. Okay, because I'm a, <laughs> a car guy. This unit I can take out of the wall and take out of the window in our bedroom and put it in the garage and put it in the garage window. Same size windows for me. We have people that take them camping. Put them in their tents. Oh, that's not a bad idea. With a generator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Air conditioned tent. Yeah. I love this country. <laughs> well, because you can't do that with a window unit. That's, you could do that with this. That's really when, good. When you lose power in a storm, that's right. we hook this up to our generator. We still have air conditioning in our home because it can plug into your generator. So. That's brilliant. I, Sean, this is funny because I've had a very similar unit now for years and had never thought about either one of those. It all comes down to do you want to be comfortable this summer? Well, yeah. And the fact of the matter is, yes, we all work hard. When we get home, we want to be comfortable. But you can't be in two rooms at one time. No. So when you're cranking that wall thermostat to try to drop the temperature in your home with your central air, the bill is going up and you're paying for it. Why not make sure the room that you're in, especially at night, is exactly the temperature that you so desire and you're controlling it and, and you're getting rid of the humidity. The great thing is you get the remote control with it so you never have to get up out of bed or your easy chair to control it. I don't have a remote control on the thermostat on the wall. No, and all the uh, all the features are right here on it. You can see we have it set to 62 degrees. There's a sleep timer built in here so that if you want to start it at 62 degrees, every two hours it will increase by two degrees because when the sun goes down it gets cooler Chiller, at night. Yeah. So you don't wake up and you're freezing. There's Beautiful. a timer to set it so you get home at 5 o'clock at 4.30 you want it to go on to 64 degrees. You can do that. Uh, it is really refreshing. Yeah, and, and that's the great thing about it. I have this on the swing mode here, you can so feel it's it. actually moving the air up and down, so these automatically work on their own. But you can adjust them to where you want. If you have it blowing directly on you on your easy chair, uh -huh. maybe you like that. Maybe you want it to go above you. You can set them where you want. At $454 and change, we have it on Easy Pay. You can actually take six months to pay for it. It's comparably priced to what are smaller window units, and right. window units have issues. You've got to install them. Anybody who's tried to put a window unit in, we'll find ourselves trying to manufacture our own rigging system with two by fours and this, and, that, and, and the other. And most new neighborhoods won't let you have that in the window. Will you yours? Are no, I can't Mine have a either. window unit. Yeah. I can have this. So, and it's, it's written right there in the bylaws for the neighborhood. So, these are easier to set up. They're more convenient. They're more portable, as you said, you know. I've used it in the garage. I've taken out in the shed when I've been working oh, on yeah. things. So, we've taken them camping. If you lose power, you can plug it into a generator. I have that one room in my house, in the center of the house. I don't know why, but it doesn't get the cooling it needs. It's, this is the answer. It's making your living space comfortable in the heat that we all know is coming. Oh, it's coming. coming. <laughs> it's so, coming. We've got a few dozen left in the black, in the white even less, in the platinum.